Hey guys, so this is my book summary for the month of July of 2015. So once again, I finished the month halfway through a book. Um, so you'll be hearing about that one again next month. Oh well. And I am a bit sick, so if I start coughing and if my voice sounds weird, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm getting through it. Anyways, so the first book I read, well, finished for July was um, Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. And I don't have it with me because it belonged to the library and I took it back. So here's a picture. Last month I told you that I hadn't gotten that far through and I wasn't sure like whether I liked it or not yet. But I did like it. I finished it and I thought it was good. Um, it was interesting to read. It was fun to read as well. Like it was just really, um, you know, it got my imagination working and it just kind of transported me back to my childhood of watching The Wizard of Oz and stuff and seeing all the characters come back in a different way though. Um, so I think it was a really creative concept and it worked well. Um, I won't tell you what happened exactly but there was a cliffhanger at the end which leads into what I found out was a sequel. So there's another one um, called The Wicked Will Rise and so I'm going to be reading that eventually and I found out there's also a prequel which tells you like why Dorothy came back and how she got to be the ruler of Oz and how things went bad so I'll be reading that eventually too uh, so yeah overall I think it was a good book and I would recommend it to anyone who likes The Wizard of Oz and who likes fantasy type things my second book which I am halfway through um, is this beauty here this is Grey by E.L. James um, and it is the Fifty Shades of Grey book from Christian's perspective. If you didn't know that already, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you've seen all of the news about it. But it wouldn't be a surprise to you guys that I am reading this and that I'm really enjoying it. Because you should know that I love this series by now. Um, but yeah, I know how it's going to end. I've read the first one. Um, obviously I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen because I've found out that even though it is the same story as the first book, it is different to read because it's from his perspective instead of Anna's and it's posing a lot of like different emotions and things like that because Christian is a different person and you get to find out a lot more about what he's think, feeling and thinking than you did in the first one when Anna was just trying to read him. Um, so I'm really finding a lot of interest in reading this and I look forward to seeing um, I guess what happens as in like how he deals with the future events that are going to happen that I know are coming. So yeah, I love it. I know that lots of people don't but I do. So if you love it too, comment down below and we can have a big Fifty Shades um, celebratory conversation, I guess. Praising conversation. I don't know. So that is my summary for July. And if you are reading any good books at the moment, let me know in the comments. If you have any recommendations for me that you think I might like, leave them down below as well. Um, like, subscribe all of that stuff and I'll see you next month for more book stuff.